they come in picture. You know why they're in picture? They say it's TG. <laughs> no, be today, no, they give you better. If you want to look what that man's TG, make you look inside house. My correct, correct people, I welcome on again back to this very channel, BOD TV board. Well, our first lady, now she be or now she go be, she did very funny, oh. You see, they talk, say, our husband stingy. If you want to know my way stingy, me, you can't look inside our house. <laughs> we don't see you now. You don't look bad. So, we know they answer all those way they talk, say, our, our Peter will be stingy. He's stingy. If they economize, they say for your body, say, you be economy woman. The way your husband, they manage. At least the man, they try. They give you your needs, not all your wants. At least that's okay. Well, coming to the very thing where you bring us come here. Now, well, this is our first lady. Our simplicity, the way she did that day down to earth, and the way she did they relate, you know. She did relate well, just as they relate so with pigeon. Ah, the thing is sweet for her mouth, well, well. Uh -huh. So, my people, we don't want first lady the way be say you go come out, you go they shine like, say, she go move. If she want to go do plastic surgery, go easy. Anything you want to do, go easy. Like this one, the husband don't caution and say, no, this one you go do, this one you don't go, you don't go do. This one you need them, this one you don't need them. Now this kind of person now we want. I will let the video play from the beginning to sound a big old TV, but thank you for being here. Thank but this man, oh, na, this is not in law. Now he changed constitution of Nigeria when it comes to election. That's why we the guest saga election. You know, say when he contest for 2003, they come collect the mandate. He say go go court. Even me, I check and say where where did they go? He say court. I say okay, may stay there. Me, I stay house court. <laughs> now he's not for court for three years, and then eh, the party where him they know be ruling party. Oh. So you see the wala we day for this Nigeria. Now in one day, after three years, they give him a mandate. That's not the reason why for here, for Nigeria, sometimes, not be sometimes, some states, they get election different. Like for March 11, not be all states go get. That one not even do himself. They come in picture. You know why they're in picture? They say it's TG. <laughs> If you want to look what that man's teach, make you look inside house. The next person, the next group of leaders who are coming to lead, they will be very careful. They, they, they will be afraid. Do you know that if only one million, only five million Nigerian youth will form a party because they are all educated? They are educated. If they form a party of the youth, register it, and each youth is bringing just 100 naira. 5 million youth will give you 500 million, only 100, as party due. Do you know that they are going to be so wealthy? The party will be so wealthy. Eh? But do you know that our leaders will not let them understand this? I noticed something. I saw where somewhere they were they, they entered into a warehouse and they were taking the COVID-19 uh, palliatives. <laughs> Do you know what I noticed that, that touched me? The young people were moving and bringing this in and they were throwing it to the... They were not carrying it for themselves. They were giving training to the others. Everybody take, everybody take. I was like, Lord... These ones will be going out and throwing out of things and they'll forget themselves. That is what service is all about. It is a demonstration of what it means to be a servant. That I saw these children going into the warehouse, bringing out things, and they were not holding those things for themselves. They were just throwing to the crowd. The Lord began to show to me everything that will happen to this nation again very funny indeed I don't want to begin to reveal things now because everything he ever told me since 1990 came to pass Abby and he will always tell us a year or two before then 
no matter how they manipulate this one, it's zero. And later we give up a write-up so that the leaders, the people who are going to come, they will see God's plan. I'm not doing anything to be known. I'm not seeking for popularity. I don't want to be a celebrity. I'm not looking for money. I'm looking for heaven. Heaven. I will show them again what the Lord has said, what will be, and Yusuf should do. If they do it, Odi will be here for eight years. If they do it, Yusuf will be here for another eight years. So we have 16 years of real turnaround. Real turnaround. Real turnaround that this nation will be number one out of the ten nations of the world. If they do not follow up, something will happen and there will be a dividing of this nation. But not on tribal lines, it will be on religious lines. But if they would not listen, there will be so much trouble that this nation will be divided into two parts, north and south. Not on tribal grounds, but on religious grounds. And you will have the Muslim north, you have the, the Christian south. But the Lord wants me that the Muslims will be more united, even though they are going to be forced into it, because their leaders are going to be dictators, and they will be used, but they will be more united. But the southern Christians will not be united. They will fight themselves, and they will bring in their tribalism again. And there'll be trouble. And so the reason the Lord is giving us this big opportunity is because he does not want this division to take place. But a lot is in the hands of the people of God, both in the north and south and east and west. A lot lies in our hands. People should have good will towards God and towards the will of God. And everybody will prosper. I am trusting the Lord that the next eight years will be powerful years. Changes will come. Opportunities will come. And all the Nigerians who have run away to abroad, they will run back. And when they come back, I will tell them, oh, you cannot take my space. Don't take my space. Look for your space. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is the God of Nigeria. Jesus loves this nation. And he loves you. In the next eight years, young people that will have opportunities, no, people will have opportunities to travel abroad. And when they travel, they're not going to stay there. They will go and acquire things. They will return because this nation will become the envy of nations. Yeah. 